Welcome back, folks. I'm Kenjamin, and today we're talking about why no one plays Decidueye. Decidueye officially released on November 19th, 2021 as a ranged physical attacker. As the ninth attacker in Pokemon Unite, Decidueye has stiff competition. Decidueye isn't like Gardevoir or Ninetales with team crowd control, nor does Decidueye have the stealthiness of a Greninja or invincibility of a Cinderace. Decidueye seems more like a jack of all trades, yet a master at nothing. That is, until Decidueye got buffed. On January 20 of this year, Decidueye received a generous buff to all of its endgame skills, with the exception of Shadow Sneak. But let's look a little more in depth. Rallet evolves into Dartrix at level 5, and finally into Decidueye at level 7. Decidueye's passive Long Reach increases damage to enemy Pokemon who are further away. Each basic attack grants Decidueye a stack, totaling up to 4 stacks. Each stack increases Decidueye's attack speed and the number of hits from each basic attack at the expense of attack damage. The stacks will disappear after a short period of time if the player has not basic attacked a Pokemon. At level 1, the player can choose either Leafage or Astonish. Leafage deals damage in a fan shape and increases the user's attack damage and basic attack speed for a short time. Astonish chases after an enemy Pokemon, dealing damage and slowing the enemy for a short time. At level 7, Leafage turns into either Razor Leaf or Spirit Shackle. Razor Leaf buffs the player's attack and attack speed. While Razor Leaf is active, Decidueye can hit up to 3 enemy Pokemon with its basic attack. When Razor Leaf is upgraded, basic attacks deal greater damage against enemy Pokemon with more HP. Spirit Shackle is arguably Decidueye's best skill. Spirit Shackle now has 3 reserves and only has a 2 second cooldown in between uses. The first Pokemon hit by a fully charged Spirit Shackle will receive a circle around them. If the enemy walks outside of the circle, they take damage and are slowed temporarily. When upgraded, Spirit Shackle will deal more damage to Pokemon with low HP, making it easier to secure knockouts. At level 8, Astonish turns into either Leaf Storm or Shadow Sneak. Leaf Storm deals damage in a straight line and slows Pokemon for a short time. If enemies are close to Decidueye, enemies are pushed away and stunned for a short time. When fully upgraded, Leaf Storm's slow effect is increased on enemy Pokemon. Shadow Sneak temporarily increases Decidueye's movement speed and send out a shadow that seeks out an enemy. The hit enemy will have decreased movement speed and defense for a short time. When upgraded, Shadow Sneak further decreases defense. Decidueye's Unite move, Knock Knock, leaves Decidueye unable to move but becomes immune to hindrances. When activated, Decidueye will unleash a flurry of quills and end the sequence with a large quill that pierces through all enemies. Back to what I was saying before, Decidueye was a jack of all trades and a master at none, but Decidueye has made a comeback and is the master of finishing off runaway enemies. If you're running in a straight line, forget about it. Unless you have X speed or eject button, there's almost no way you can escape a Decidueye while you're low health. Decidueye can hit you with a Spirit Shackle, use Shadow Sneak to catch up to you, and hit you with another Spirit Shackle. If that doesn't kill you, some basic attacks will. And if you're still alive, just fight back. Decidueye loses when you're up close anyways. What I like to do is start off with a Spirit Shackle, go in with a Shadow Sneak, and then finish off my enemies with another Spirit Shackle. But of course, I whiffed that last one, so all I can do now is stay back and poke with Spirit Shackle. My allies were busy taking Dreadnaw, so all I could do was poke my enemies and make sure that they didn't bother my allies. But of course, I couldn't secure any kills, and all I could do was poke. Well, I waited for some of my allies to finish with Dreadnought and then come and help us score and push the bottom lane. Of course, they're pushing into the jungle and I'm just trying to keep the goalies busy here on the enemy side. 
I didn't want us to overextend too much, but we happened to score while the Talonflame used their Unite move to get the enemies away from the goal and secured a Quadra kill. Like I said, I didn't want us to overextend, so I decided to stay with my allies since there are three of them here with me equals four. But unfortunately, the, the enemies were coming back a lot faster than we thought. And so we decided to make a really quick retreat. Seems like talent flame is low, but we managed to get away. And this fight took a turn that you would not expect. So Serena comes up on me and I managed to get away thanks to Blissey. But I take out the Alola Ninetales and then before you know it, Trevenant gets taken out. And Serena has no choice but to take the kill from me. And before you know it, Zero Aura also gets killed, even though he tries to take out Trevenant. So here Lucario ends up fighting 1v1 against Garchomp, but I'm here too. So I land a Spirit Shackle, and like I said, I go for a Shadow Sneak, and then I kill with the Spirit Shackle. And here we capture Zapdos, and there's a Garchomp down here. What I like to do to make sure that I, I can capture enemies is I use a Shadow Sneak to move, and then the Shadow goes and captures, and then I finish off with the Spirit Shackle. And in this fight, my ally is 1v2 against a Wigglytuff and a Mamoswine. And so I go in and I help. As Mamoswine is trying to take out Talonflame, I'm just poking away slowly at Mamoswine. And thankfully, I decrease its speed and I manage to get the kill. And you know how I said I don't like to overstay in a fight? Well, here's the rest of that fight. So we managed to take out Wigglytuff, and of course you saw that we were able to take out the Mamoswine. But the issue here is that I had already used my eject button. So here comes Garchomp and Gengar. And guess what Garchomp does? Yep. Three hit combo, and I'm dead. So that's one of the sucky things about Decidueye. Decidueye is basically a glass cannon. If you can't take out that bad boy, then he'll take you out. But if you take him out, then he's not much of a threat to you. And this quick match that I played was the perfect example of how to keep the attackers down. Even though uh, Cinderace and I were both 2v1 against Lucario, we were not fast enough and we could not do any damage against him. And unfortunately, this fight just snowballed down south from here. So of course, in a close range combat like this, I have no choice but to go with Razor Leaf instead of Spirit Shackle. But even though that's the case, we end up not doing too well. And I know it seems like we're doing pretty okay so far because all four of us just scored. But that's the most scoring that we're going to do for the rest of this game, unfortunately. And you know, there are going to be games like this, but that's okay. People have their days. Unfortunately, I think the shortcomings of Decidueye is that aside from having that short little movement speed in Shadow Sneak, there's really no other way that Decidueye can escape from a fight. It's either you have to stay dedicated or you just have to stay far away from everyone and just use Spirit Shackle. And here's a prime example of what happens when you get too close to an enemy. You end up dead. Not to say that Decidueye can't fight up close with enemies, but it's just not optimal. And unfortunately, Decidueye just does so much better far range. And I say unfortunately because the moment an enemy comes up to Decidueye, you really are just dead. And that's the best way to counter a Decidueye, is don't give up. Just whoop his butt. Just keep on going, keep on trucking, and keep fighting. Even if a Decidueye has Leaf Storm, you are still perfectly capable of catching up because almost every single Pokemon in this game that can fight against a Decidueye face to face can just dash up to him. Serena, Lucario, Machamp, Cinderace, Greninja, you name it. It doesn't really matter what kind of Pokemon you play because you can basically counter Decidueye. Now I will say 
the best thing that Decidueye has going on for him is its range. And that's how Decidueye really should just be played. And if you agree or disagree, let me know what you think in the comments section. I would love to hear your opinion. And I would also love to hear how the rest of you also play Decidueye. Or if I convince you to play Decidueye, then let me know how your journey goes. Well, that's going to be it for today's video, folks. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next video.